We are excited to be joined um, by Naomi Brody, and it's Brody, uh, here in Washington, having a fantastic weekend in these hot and humid conditions. Yeah, um, it's obviously not very similar to England, although we had great weather this year at Wimbledon. Um, but I like the hot conditions, it speeds the court up, which is great for my game being so tall. And um, my first time here in Washington, so I'm really enjoying it so far. And the conditions, again, they're just so foreign, but you have had no problems whatsoever. You've had, I think, 24 aces. You haven't dropped a set. Um, today, uh, three and three against Saznovich, who was the number three qualifying seed. Um, at any time, did you feel uncomfortable on court? Yeah, I started off the match playing well. Um, and in the second set, she really started to come back. I knew that she would. She'd try and raise her game, but um, I was serving well. and. Um, I think I had one game that she almost broke me a couple of times, but I managed to, to hold serve there. And um, now I'm really pleased with how I'm playing. All right. And again, with your success so far in these conditions, um, this is all leading up to US Open qualifying, I presume? Yeah, and that's how I'm trying to view these next few tournaments, just trying to see it as preparation for US Open. Um, I love New York. It's my favorite tournament of the year after Wimbledon, but um, can't wait to get there. So great preparation so far this week. Right, and it's been fun traveling with Liam uh, here in Washington. Yeah, we managed to go out for dinner last night. Obviously, our schedules don't always match up, but um, it's nice now his ranking's a bit higher, and he's actually higher than I am at the moment. So um, we get to play some similar tournaments, especially the Grand Slam qualifiers at the moment. Hopefully, we'll both be Grand Slam main draws soon. Excellent, excellent. And just looking back, um, social media, Bebo Gate, eight years on, um, do you think maybe you were an early adapter to social media and the public just wasn't ready for it? I mean, now you see the most ridiculous things, 10 times worse than anything you could have ever been accused of. What do you think about that eight years on as an adult now? Yeah, um, it didn't really affect me at the time personally. Um, was a night out and that's as you say now now social media is so much more well known and you know that what you put out there is out there to the world and i think i've learned that lesson for a lot of other players um but yeah like you say there's far worse things that people have done and can be doing and yeah I, it just went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for answering the question, too. All right, uh, Connie Peran, who uh, is from Switzerland. I don't know if you've ever played her. Uh, she writes for our site, and she is one of the first WTA players to use crowdfunding in an attempt to uh, in an attempt to kickstart the finances on her career. Tell me how hard it is um, to finance this career. It's so tough, especially at the ITFs. The money just doesn't go down. Um, it's quite top heavy. Um, I've been fortunate the past two years to get a wild card into Wimbledon, which has funded me for the following year. And um, so I guess if I wasn't British, it would be even more difficult because I wouldn't have been given that opportunity. Um, they're looking to make some changes, I think, starting next year at maybe more hospitality given at the lower events. Um, and they're trying to increase the lower prize money as well, which is a good step forwards, but I think they still need to do more. Um, but it's really great to play an event like this. I get a free hotel room and we get an amazing lunch service. We have everything we need here at the courts. So um, maybe that's why I feel so much comfortable playing here at this tournament. Naomi, you're a fantastic player. We wish you the best of luck going throughout the week and all the way to the US Open. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.